Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everybody, it's me Dr. Ija. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add forum as an activity for your LMS using Moodle. So let's say you have logged into your course page and then uh, you want to add this forum at specific week. So let's say I'm going to add forum in introduction to statistics. So I need to go to add an activity or resources. Just click that add an activity or resources. It will bring you to this page. And like I said, we have activities, resources and recommended for, uh, for you to choose. But since we want to choose forum, so forum is under activities. So we just click forum and it will direct you to this page of adding a new forum to introduction to statistics. So it's compulsory for you to fill in the forum name. So let's say I want to write my forum, the pros and cons using statistics in our life. Okay or in our research. All right. So my description would be, Hi all, in this activity, I want you to participate in a forum entitled The Pros The pros and cons using statistics in our research. Okay. Everyone or everybody is compelled to participate in this forum. Thank you. So I already add the description for my forum. So since it's too small, I'm going to bold it. I'm going to make it large and I want to make it colorful. So I'm going to change the color into, let's say, I'm going to change it into green color. Okay. So let's say if you want to add an image into your forum to make it more interactive. Okay. So let's say I want to add image on top of my text for description. I will click this button and I'm going to click insert or edit image. Browse repositories. Okay, choose file. Since I already upload the picture that I want to insert into my forum. Okay, this is the picture. Choose and then upload this file. And I'm going to change this into 600. Okay, and it will automatically calculate the size. Okay, let's say I will save the image. Oh. I will take this. This image is decorative only. Save image. Okay. And you can see that it's already there on the description part where I put it on top of my text of my um, instruction of the forum. Okay. Let's say I'm satisfied with the pictures as well as the instruction. Don't forget to click or to tick display description on course page. Next, we need to go to availability. So I'm going to make my forum available starting from the 3rd March and the cutoff date for student to participate in the forum would be, let's say one week after this, which is 10 March, 2021. So attachment and word count, I just leave it by default, 500 kilobyte, maximum number of attachment you can Add if you want to. Let's say I allow up to five number of attachments. Display word count. No. Subscription and tracking and others. I will just leave it by default. 
and I will click on save and return to course where it will direct me back to the course page and here you are you can see that the forum is on your course page already so to initiate the, pro the, the forum you need to click on the, uh, the the name of the forum and the student need to add a new discussion or topic so this is just a template for the forum. Now I'm going to add the topic, just the pros of statistics. So this is my topics, yeah, for for uh for me and my students to discuss regarding the pros and cons of statistics. So message to me, statistics have a lot of advantages for our research blah 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 let's say i'm just going to write whatever uh, discussions that i'm going to put under the message and just click post to forum so what you can see now is that uh, under the discussion topic i've already add one discussion which is the pros of statistics and if i click at the pros of statistics my friend can uh, reply. Yeah, my friend can reply um, the post that I already posted in under this uh, discussion. Okay, and the student can even upload the file for this forum. All right. So if I go back into my course page, yeah, okay, which is introduction to statistics. So you have already successfully add forum into your course page thank you very much bye